Hello and welcome. Let me get some... Oh, music's already going, so I don't need to do that. Um, welcome back to my channel. This is All the Shiny, and I thought we would finish up our Daniel Smith samples, except that I had a little caveat here. I, I have a dot card. That's what I have left for Daniel Smith. And I was thinking... Two, three, four, five, so there's ten. Two, three, four. So there's twelve, I guess. I was thinking that I could somehow get these dots off of here and put them in the pans and then test them. And then that way I would start using this because, well, why not start using this? Um, only thing problem would be is I don't know if I can label it. Let me see if I can find. Oh, I'll need that. Oh, I thought I had a. Oh, I had a micron pin here, but I can't find one. So obviously I don't have a micro pin, and the other problem is, is once I do that, I won't have the labels. But we're gonna do this anyway because I tried, I tried to do a QOR sample card, and the water just ran everywhere. And like, yeah, so I wound up with this. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but there was not a, really enough to sample. But maybe, maybe I was doing it wrong. Um, we, we'll do these in the future. Um, I hope this is 100% cotton paper. Anyway, we're going to stick that over there because that's not this video. Um, my husband's working home from home today because we had a whole weekend of sickness where we could barely get out of bed to like feed ourselves. So, um, I'm still on the tail end of that. Like, I just woke up and he was having a meeting. I was like, well, you know, I might as well do something productive besides work because I fell asleep at work at my work desk. So I work from home and I, I do various things for small businesses and I looked into, because people kept telling me, oh, that's just virtual assisting. I looked into virtual assisting and what I do is not under the preview of virtual assisting. So I don't do that kind of work. I do other kind of small business work um, from home because various reasons. New Gambage series. How do I get this off the paper? Without killing myself. It's like, nope. Oh. I mean, I guess. So what I'll do is, and I might as well go ahead and do that. I might as well just fill these with water so that way they can start melting. And then, I know this is one of the craziest videos ever. You're just going to watch me peel paint. I'm not sure what you're going to do with those two. I think they're just, I don't know. Let me come back with a toothpick and try to pull the paper out. So I think, very carefully slice that off the paper. If I do it like this, I can remember which one went where. So I'll just keep going in order. Oh, 
paint and then you drop it in and then like you can pull the paper off I think. Alizon Crimson, Quadrasigio Magenta. It's underneath there. Oh, this one's really dry. So I noticed some are shinier than others, some are stickier than others, some are really drier than others. I am guessing they use the same formula of of additives, but then like the 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 pigments itself, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're not homogenous. Is that the word? Three, one, two, three, four, five. So that's four, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's only fourteen. So I'm gonna have um, extra. I'm gonna have one extra, I guess. I, I like I said, I just woke up. Like I fell asleep at my desk, so I'm probably not all the way here. I'm a little sleep drunk at the time. Not alcohol drunk, sleep drunk, totally different thing. Towel green. Rainy. Tap myself. I'm all good. Hurt though. Where do we put you? So, permanent light green. Don't know what we're doing with permanent light green. We might stick it with one of the other greens, but we'll see. So I have Q-tips somewhere around here. One at a time, that's great. Come on. It's been the longest. Let's mix it around. There's the paper. There's the paint. Uh, it's working as better than I hoped, actually. I think that's good enough.
I hope this isn't too boring for you. So I got this porcelain palette from Me Dan. Me Dan. It was like ten dollars on sale, but I think it's regularly like eighteen. And it's porcelain, so it should work. I guess there's a bit of ASMR here. I should shut up and just let you listen. So this week's theme is wildflowers. So you're going to be seeing me, and I know this is Monday, but my husband ha is working from home and has a meeting, and I just couldn't sit in there any longer because, well, my client's out of power, my husband's in a meeting, and I keep falling asleep, so I figured it was time to do something else with my time since working didn't seem to be working out. I think this is... This should be transparent pyro orange. No, permanent Alizon crimson should be in this one. Now this looks like a berry color. Quina Credo Magenta. This one's opera pink. That is a bright pink color. Uh oh, I'm recording and here's my husband, so give me one moment. Husbands are so funny. 
had to come tell me he was still in the meeting. Okay, I'm recording. It's over. Anyway, this is a really pretty color. It's called Rose of Ultramarine. So, yeah, purple, obviously. And I'm, I know I have it fully mixed this in, so I'm going to come back when it's more liquefied, I think, and do some more. Now we're just trying to get this paper off. And then break up the big splotchy piece. This color is it's not Carillion, not Ultramarine, not Mayan, not Fallow Green. This one would be German Greenish Raw Umber maybe? This is a very mud color. I've got a monkey in my pan. Oops. There's a burr on the porcelain itself, I think I'm hitting. Well, that one mixed really well. It's English Red Ochre, I believe. Now this one should be Cerulean Blue. This one is ultramarine blue, and what we would expect of an ultramarine blue to be absolutely blue. Very primary blue. Beautifully so, though. So this then should be May in dark blue. Yeah, like I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the extra. The yellows, well, I guess Hansy Yellow and Lemon Yellow aren't that much alike. They kind of seem alike to me, though. But now that they're out, I can't, like, move them. Oh, 
This should be tallow green. Tallow? 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 I don't know. It's definitely a blue green. So what Diane does is she puts all her paints at an angle, but I notice this already angles inward. Oh, and I, I saw something else about this. It has a rest, so if you put your watercolor brush on it, there's a dip on the other side and it keeps it at an angle. See that? Ooh, that was loud. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do about this. Where are we putting this guy? He is extra. Do, 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 do. Very extra. Um. Oh, shucks. I just don't have anything. I don't have like a little container. Or do I? Do I have a little container somewhere? Sure. So this, this is an actual schmicky set, so I'm going to put it back in this bag, or at least put the, uh, there we go. I don't want to put it actually back in this container because it still feels wet to me. Um, yeah, geez guys, I just don't know where I'm going to put this in. should have counted before I started this video and then I would have known this wouldn't have fit and I would have needed something bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Hmm. Hey little guy, you don't fit in my palette so I guess you won't be used. Oh, it seems kind of rude. I have a basket over here of colors I've already tested, or paints I've already tested. So we are moving them out of our way just for the purposes of video because I feel all cramped. One second, I may have found a solution. Not the best solution, but it's a solution. It's a lid to a medicine container, so that'll have to do. Hello, green. Permanent green light. have to fill that too. And here's a pile of colors I haven't tested. And another pile of colors I haven't tested. I feel just very disco give me one moment. I feel very um claustrophobic lately. I don't I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me either. There we go. Just that. And put some stuff away. toothpick for the green. I am looking for it. That's basically what I'm looking for is the green toothpick. Did I not use a green toothpick? I guess I didn't. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm losing my mind today. Let's 
flip this over. You have to give it a few more seconds because there we go. Now we get the paper loose. Rinse the paper off. Try to get the paper out. Here we are. And these brushes haven't been washed, but we're going to have to keep using them anyway. And then we're going to toss these bits, little bits into the trash real quick. Sorry for the length of this video already. I, I'm, I'm just really tired and so I'm going slow and not thinking clearly. And you shouldn't have to suffer that, but I guess you are, so. Sorry. So we are just getting set up. We're gonna have to keep mixing that one. Cause I ran out of slots. Um, weird that this one's just like not dissolving. So we'll stick those there and we'll find something to level this up with, like so. Alrighty, plus the grain, plus the white washcloth. Um, butterflies from last week, evidently. Let's see if we can get some of that off. Ow. And maybe I have like no water color skills. Like even though I've been doing this year, it's not been like steady every day because I run a business and I'm a wife and a housewife and a business owner and I help my husband with his side business. And I also sew full time and have a third of an acre of hard work. So, um, my husband is, is a very low energy person. He helps when he can, but it exhausts him to no end. And I wish I had an answer for that because I feel the same way. I think the house has something wrong because we were fine before we moved in here. And we've been on a steady, slow decline of health since then. Um, not that you need to know all that. So there are 15 colors. How am I gonna divide this? Um, very carefully. I am going to get a thinner one. And probably get a ruler because this 
64. So if I can do it by five by three. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. That's still like We'll just mark it there. Mm. That's what happens when you put your pencils away. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that works. whatever. Oh goodness. One moment. I'm just going to not even listen to her own marks. I was just a spam call. There we go. And once again, they are not even because I just can't be bothered apparently. So we have some stencils for the other side. Let's see if we have anything that's a wildflower-ish. Any of those. Definitely none of those. Butterflies, paisleys, feathers, beach stuff, owls, more owls, more feathers, more beach stuff. Paisleys is getting it close to the beginning and it's still not. It's, yeah, none of these would work. So we are winging it today. So I saw this wet on wet tutorial, I guess I'll try. Let's put all that away. Oops, I'm sorry, sorry. I bet that was a bit jarring.
clamp this down a bit. And do just general swatching. So, general swatching. Yes sir, yes sir, sorry. I am so goofy today. Oh, my head. Um, anyway, I hope you're enjoying the music. I really need to probably get better music. I can't hear it. It's on mute for me. I hope you can hear it. It doesn't look like you can hear it. What is up with that? I don't think you can hear the music. It's playing. Maybe now? Maybe it was just too low? And try a little bit louder. You should be able to hear something now. Alrighty. So we are going to do these colors. Um, Danielle Smith Extra Fine Watercolor from Sketchbox. What a brush we get testing some of our exciting colors. Uh, what did a brush? And this is Hansa Yellow Light. And this is lemon yellow. I feel like we've done lemon yellow before. And this is new gamboge, which to me is like, I don't know, a tangerine color? No, it's more of a cantaloupe color. I feel like we waste so much paint like wiping off the brushes. But what else are we going to do? This is transparent pyrrole orange. At least my colors are coming out looser. So I may have to do this with the palettes more often. Uh, permanent alizarin crimson. Credo Magenta. Yeah. This is a rich berry color. Now this is Opera Pink. Very violent pink color. I know people who like this color. And this is Rose of Ultramarine. And really in blue be this color. I'm just not picking up the pigment with this. Interesting. And ultramarine blue. And Mayan dark blue. This is a really pretty color, it's the blue. Like a deep ocean color. And 
and fallow green. And permanent light green. Gemma Umber. And English Red Walker. Oh, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of like painting gravy. Anyway, there we go. That's all swatched out. And we're going to pause the video while I dry it and leave our brush soaking a little bit. Alrighty, we are back and I went ahead and wrote all the colors down and now I want to do a wet on wet loose painting like I've seen people do. So I've seen this happen where they just flecked paint on wet paper and then made it into flowers. You see, I tried really hard to erase the butterflies. Of course, the paper's not buckling, even though it's got stuff on the other side. But we will work with it, right, people? So I'm going to, to kind of prevent the buckling, do this. My next watercolor book journal I get will be the kind that's glued on both sides, I think, because that would just make so much more sense. Well, I know I had two of those. There we go. And I'm doing this to be able to hold that up. Of course, that only works if something's over here to hold this down. There we go. I'm going to move it up or move the camera down so you can see what I'm painting. There we are. Alright, so I saw them take and just... It's not moving. See the paint, and I don't know if it's the paint or if maybe I need to put some QR or medium there. They're a little bit. Maybe I need to put QR or medium. That one, that one. Look at that. Now that's spreading. Okay, so I may have to put some to do this kind of wet on wet. I may have to put a lot of. or a bit of QOR water on it into the medium to get things to spread the way I want them to. I get that fiber pink to come out. There we go. Wow. That one wants to spread. It's just going to take over the world. I think that's it. There's maybe blue flowers. Get the red out so we don't put it on the blue. Carillion wants to settle really well. Like in the pan, it's just constantly just settling to the bottom like it's really heavy paint.
So I was watching a tutorial last night because that's what I do when I can't sleep. And this person was bleaching their paper, like to create white. And I was like, how is that possible? Like, it's not going to destroy the paper. I don't know. It seemed crazy. But, you know, maybe it works. So if you've bleached paper, let me know. I want to know if you've bleached paper to make white on a painting. Because I just think that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to put more blue here. I'm going to get some thicker chunks of paint and try to create some clusters draw it's blue bonnet season here in Texas if you're curious if you're not that's okay I understand so now that we've done all the flower colors I think it's time to go in with some greens. If I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. I have no idea what I'm doing anyway. Oops. Well, I didn't want to do that, but oh well. He is still in a meeting. You can hear him in there. So the office he works at might be closing, but he probably won't be losing his job. So yeah, that's, that's, supposedly they're going to let him work from home, supposedly. And I don't know what I should do after this dry. It's like, do I keep painting? I mean, how do you know when to stop? This to me looks very, um, I don't know, unprofessional. But then I see people doing stuff like this and I'm like, well, they can do it. And that looks right when they're finished. And I guess that's the point. It doesn't look right when I'm finished. Maybe. Let's see if I can pull some brown into the bottom.
Well, there's some dirt in wildflowers, right? Like you go out there and you can see the dirt. That works. That makes sense to everyone else. So, the green raw-ish umber, it feels like sand. It feels like I'm scra scraping my brush in mud. So, you know, it's a very actual mud feeling. Which, I mean, it's made out of stone probably, right? Those are all the colors. So, I'm going to pause here and dry this. And then, I think I'm going to add a little bit more and then try again. Alright, I'm back. I took a small refreshment break. This feels all dry. My hands are nice and clean. I just like when I wash them. Um, adding depth to this. So let's see. See if I can add a pretty little poppy here. Maybe another one right here. My allergies. So if you hear me like breathing heavy, it's because of allergies. I have allergies to everything apparently. I mean, I think so. That looks even. I can wear that red and try a different color. Nope, oh, it's still there. There we go. Nice and clean. Um, let's go in with some of these blue bonnets here. over here. Maybe they're blue ones. Maybe there's some other blue flower. in the pan. Alrighty, so by the way, I don't know what I'm doing, so if you're just getting into this video or you're getting this far and down now turning on the sound or whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing based on a ton of videos I've watched. So we're going to take this Rose of Ultramarine, try to make some grape hyacinths here. And I know they're kind of big compared to the blue bonnets and in real life they're like quarter the size, but bear with me. Alright. Maybe there's another one right here. Feels like there should be some purple right here. And I heard you're supposed to paint in uneven numbers. Because it's less boring. Alright, there's something yellow in this picture. I'm not sure what the flower is that's yellow. <coughs> Maybe wild mustard. 
maybe some other unknown as yet unnamed flower. You're going to try to get some thicker yellow paint. Two, three, four. In the background anyway, so. And I mix the yellows. Um, they are different colors. One's more of a neon and one's more of an orange, but it's very imperceptible. Like if I asked my husband, who obviously is colorblind, if he knew which one it was which, he would not be able to tell me. His meeting's over. So like, legitimately, I was sitting in my office topless because it's just one of those days where um, my modern undergarments are causing my lymph nodes to swell. And so I was airing off my body. He just starts his meeting, turns on a camera and everything. I'm just like, I'm getting pause so I can leave. <laughs> so he had to turn off his camera and then he... He was like, oh, I'm just having camera difficulties. And I'm like, I'm gone. I'm going to the other room to get dressed and paint. So I'm having this problem where if I wear polyester against my skin in any form, my lymph nodes swell up near it, like really badly. And it's extremely painful. And then I get shooting pains down the nerves near that. Um, so I'm trying to switch over to an all cotton and linen wardrobe. And you don't realize maybe how sick you are until you look at all your clothes and realize everything from Walmart's polyester. And so, and then I have like a whole bit of polyester fabric. And I don't know what to do with because like this robe or this apron I'm wearing now where it's touching me, it burns. I like literally me and I just thought like that was normal there's other plants that I found out I'm allergic to because they burn when I eat them and I just thought everything was spicy and so I've been super sick for like years not knowing well <laughs> dum dum it's probably what you're eating and wearing so I can't um do a modal or linen that's made of I think it's called modal and it's called um the other kind that's made out of plant fiber, but like wood fiber. So obviously I've not tried bamboo, but anything that's made from like eucalyptus wood, I am extremely allergic to. Um, I'm extremely allergic to eucalyptus. It'll make me start bleeding out of any hole in my body. Like just start pouring blood. It's just the bizarrest thing ever. And people always want to give me things that have... Um, Oh, it's so good for you, they say. I know that's not how Grey Piacent looks. Actually, look like something like that. Oh, it has eucalyptus in it. Will make you feel better. I'm like, I promise you, I kid you not, it will not. I will not, people. I will not feel better. So I do know what these flowers look like in real life. I obviously have a garden, but for the purpose of this video, I am just doing whatever because whatever is what feels good. I don't remember what poppy leaves look like. I should, I guess. But I don't want to accidentally like grow the illegal kind and I'm so I'm just afraid of growing them period. Like so if they wind up in some wildflower seed I would not know. Like I wouldn't intentionally plant them but
Now I know mustard has a lot of little racemes and little stems. Probably ruined it by getting too detailed, I think. Anyway, I think I'm getting close to like I've done too much. Um, poppies of yellow, orange centers, orange centers, right? So if I do a dollop of daisy in the center, not daisy, uh, new gambage, new gambage. Whatever that means. I would have a beautiful garden, except every time I go outside, I get the police call on me, or one of the neighbors comes out. Tell me I should die. But then I'm fat. Like, yeah, I know this. You could just lose weight. I'm like, Pff. yeah, if I could just lose weight, that'd be great. That'd be grand. I'll be like, you know, I haven't already lost 100 pounds. You know, come tell me how I need to lose weight. It's very neighborly. I appreciate the sentiments. Thanks for the guidance. You do portion control, so do I. Good for you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, and I hope I'm doing this right. That's a lot of paint to waste, but of course, yeah, this is a sample thing, so it shouldn't be too com Wow, that was a lot of paint to waste. Should be too concerned about wasting it. I... I don't know what to say folks. I'm terrible at this. Please help. Send in a team. I must be rescued. Anyway, that is all. You've probably got way too much, I uh, know way too much now about me than you needed to. Um, but that's all for the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor Sketchbox sample set. And out of it I got a very limited edition palette of 15 colors of Daniel Smith. So, um, these were given to me by Diane at Wally Colors Beginners Beyond. Um, I did a little bit of help for her. So it wasn't like she just like started showering me with gifts. I did a little bit of help for her and she sent me a care package. Um, she didn't ask me to help her, but I noticed something that she could fix on her social media that would help her tremendously and it did help her tremendously so she sent me a small care package of sample stuff um so it wasn't like she, i'm not like a teacher's pet or anything i just um i do help clients with social media and i don't know everything there is to know um i more of a, for my business i'm more of a website builder and um small business i do paperwork for small businesses so like bookkeeping or um, I figure out the legalities and business plans and whatever so that way like they can take the paperwork to the lawyer and get it you know things they need done and have all the information they need stuff like that so like 
say they, they need a business plan or they need some legal thing done, I'll, I gather all the information, I put it together, and then they can like go to the lawyer or whatever and get it finalized. Um, but I also help with social media and I also help with marketing. So I'm not a virtual person. So I'm, I'm not, I, I am full up with clients right now. I'm not looking for more new clients. Um, I already have more work than I can imagine right now. Um, and so when it gets overwhelming, I come in here and paint and sew. <laughs> anyway, I will leave you guys here. I'm going to blast this with some hot gun and then I am going to start my next color. I think I'm going to get a big, giant, um, <laughs> I'm drawing blank. I am going to go grab, in between videos, a giant jar to dump all this water in so I can start dehydrating so that I can have my palettes cleaned. Um, but that's probably more than you needed to know, and I don't know what's going to happen once, like, if I mix all this together, but I hope something cool. Anyway, that's all for this video. My next video, I will be sampling... Oh, what am I going to be sampling? It's not going to be too boring. So I'm going to be sampling these two palettes, one of these two palettes, and then the one after that. And then I think I'm going to do a giveaway. I know these are used, but I think I'm going to do a giveaway on my website when it launches for these palettes because um, they are student quality and I don't like them. But I have seen other people who enjoy them. I don't know. I, I think I will do a giveaway for them because um, that would be cool. And. My husband bought me this one and I'm not too pleased with it either, but it's well used. So like I've been painting a lot with it and I just struggling. So if you're struggling, it could be the paint you're using. Um, and then I have, I have gouache to sample. Um, so I bought these and I still haven't sampled them. So I need to put them in their palette and then like sample them. So that's what we should do in the next video. Um, and then after that, I have two QOR things, which are the same, but we'll sample them. And then I have these two Van Gogh, Van Gogh palettes that I have purchased for myself. And they're also well used, but I haven't sampled them in my journal thingy here. So um, we'll have those to go through. And then find out, finally we have the graphite colors Curry Talkie Tom by colors. And then I think that's it for a while because I have more than enough paint and I really shouldn't be like buying more paint. But for the next video, which is tomorrow, we'll be doing the gouache. And um, yeah. And then we're going to wash all our brushes and stuff and start anew. Anyway, it has been swell and I've told more about myself than you probably wanted to know but this is it for today got folks this is Renee with all the shiny and I will get better at this videotaping thingy and I wish you all the best and please like share and subscribe for more videos to let me know I'm on track for doing a decent job take care bye